So I picked up the Galaxy 4 watch yesterday and charged it up. I opened up the Galaxy wearable app on my phone, tapped the Play Store app, and searched for the previous compatible Dexcom app. And that's when I realized that the Galaxy 4 does not support Dexcom GCM readings. So then I did what any reasonable, desperate person would do. I found a way to legally hack it. In today's video, I'm gonna cover the steps it takes to get Dexcom G6 readings on your Samsung Galaxy 4 watch. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Ben. I'm a firefighter, paramedic, and a type one diabetic. With decades of healthcare experience, there's one thing that I've learned to be true. Nobody's body is like yours. You may have been diagnosed with type one, 1 1.5, or two. But realistically, you're type you and I'm type me. If YouTube content specific for diabetics like you is important, please subscribe to this channel and I'll do my best to keep you up to date on what's going on in the world of diabetes. All right, real quick, the Galaxy smartwatch utilizes a technology called Wear OS. Now this is an operating system created by Google for smartwatches running Android. And if you go to the Dexcom compatibility website, you'll see a tool that allows you to see if your specific device will work with Dexcom. Now, as you can see here, the Dexcom website states that the Wear OS is compatible, allowing the Dexcom G6 CGM system to display real-time glucose readings along with other helpful features right on your compatible smart device. But I'm guessing if you're watching this video, it still doesn't work for you and they still haven't patched it. So here's how I got it to work. So I originally located this process under a Reddit thread, but it was missing two components that I discovered and I'll share with you at the end of this video. Okay, so after linking my smart device to my phone, I opened up the Google Play Store from my Galaxy S21. I searched up the Wear Installer app and downloaded it to both my phone and also to my watch. Next, from your watch, you'll swipe down to go to watch settings. Tap about. And then software. From this screen, you can unlock developer mode by tapping on software version seven times. Now go back to your watch settings and you will see a new option called developer settings. Click on that and then scroll to ADB debugging and tap the blue dot to toggle as on. Now scroll down and also toggle on the debug over Wi-Fi option. Next, you're gonna to go to the phone and open up the Wear Installer app. And towards the bottom, you'll see an IP address. Open up the Wear Installer app on your watch and make sure that the numbers match. If not, type in the numbers so that they match. You should end with a 10 digit number plus three periods. I won't give you my number, but it should look like 123.123.0.123. 10 numbers total. Now select the purple done button, and then it'll move you to the installed apps screen. Scroll down to the Dexcom G6 app and then click on it. It'll prompt you to check your watch and accept connection request from your watch. Click OK, and then it should prompt you to allow debugging. 
Wear Installer will now send the Dexcom APK or Android Package Kit to your watch. Then Wear Installer will start ADB, which is an Android debug bridge. When prompted, you will accept connection and install. Now at this point, I thought I was done and everything was going to work. So I opened up the apps on my Galaxy smartwatch and I couldn't find the Dexcom G6 app anywhere. But I did, however, find the CGM option under Watch Faces. But when I went to use it, it gave me this reading. which frustrated the heck out of me. Now the, t the following two steps, I didn't read anywhere, but I just tried as a Hail Mary because I was so determined to get this to work. So once installed, go back into your watch settings by swiping down on your watch. Click on the settings and scroll to the apps. From apps, you will tap on permissions and then scroll down to the G6 app. Click on Files and Media, and then tap on Allow Only while using App. Now lastly, power down your phone and your watch and let them sit for five minutes. Then power them back up, allow them to boot, and then go into your Galaxy wearable app from your phone. Click on Watch Faces, select the Dexcom face, And then, boom, it's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive.